well good morning today on the occasion of international epilepsy day i am dr salil uppal senior consultant dm neurologist in uppal neuro hospital today i am going to give you awareness about the epilepsy or seizure what it is what are their types what to do and what not to do during the seizures and how can they be cured well what is a seizure seizure is basically the abnormal brain activity or the abnormal brain currents electrical currents of the brain when they become abnormal it causes seizures in the body seizures can be of many different types some patient throw seizures like a generalized tonic clonic seizures like in this all the body is shaking clenching of teeth is there up rolling of the eyes is there frothing from the mouth is there tongue white is there sometimes patient have urinary and stool incontinence during the seizure well other patients especially the children have seizures like absent seizures in which normally they become absent for few seconds they are not aware of the surrounding frequently uh, such children teachers tell that the the child is not uh, concentrating in the school or he doesn't understand the thing but what how can he because he is absent from the environment at that time other along with absence seizure patient can have lip smacking or eye blinking or staring just like this for few seconds at certain point some patients have seizures in which there are called focal seizures in which patients just one arm or one leg or facial twitching is there sometimes they also have seizures like deviation of neck like this and then patient causes throws seizure at that time frequently the questions are there like uh, many people ask sir what to do when a patient is having a seizure well when a patient is having a seizure please just try to hold the patient and put him on the floor give a some soft cloth or a pillow if possible and don't try to f- just <clears throat> force him that he shouldn't have this movements L- let the patient be free at that time and so that all the tonic clonic movements or the jerking movements are there and when clenching is there don't put a finger or a spoon in the mouth because if you put a finger he can bite or cut your finger and if you put a spoon in the mouth you can cause injury to the patient so when he is throwing a seizure let the patient throw the seizure and at the end of the seizure just turn him on this side so that all the frothing or the if vomiting is there that the patient doesn't aspirate at that time and all the things can come out don't get panicky to see a red color froth there can be red color froth because probably there is a tongue bite of the patient or a cheek bite or a, of the patient at that time then <clears throat> there are some myths also that uh, by smelling the onion making the patient smell the onion or making the patient smell the uh, slippers or the shoes the seizure can be subsided no these are all myths don't do these things let the patient be free once the seizure is free just untie if the patient is wearing a tie or a scarf or just open the buttons or open the belt so that the body can perspire and don't make a crowd around that just observe the patient give the patient space so that oxygen air everything can come to the patient <clears throat> then there are myths that is it a untouchable disease or by eating food of the epilepsy patient the other patients can get epilepsy no it is not like that it is a general phenomena and the cause is basically idiopathic it can occur in at any time at any age right from the birth of the child a neonatology a neonate right to the pediatric age to the juvenile adult and old age so it can occur at any age is there treatment for epilepsy yes giving proper dose of anti epileptic drugs by a neurologist and be compliant to the medicine don't taper the doses yourself see uh, if a patient is not having a seizure that doesn't mean that the doses the medicine is over at least there is a span of 2 to 3 years in which 
anti-epileptic drugs should be given to the patient and if a patient is seizure free it is due to the medicines so don't taper the drugs yourself or don't stop any medicine yourself consult a neurologist <clears throat> because he knows better when to stop the drug when to escalate the drug and what are the side effects of the drugs so show a neurologist right from the first moment when a person person has a first seizure well and i also want to say that epilepsy is not a social taboo in many places people hide epilepsy for marriages and i want to say epilepsy is curable it's not a social taboo and we should grow up and if a patient is having epilepsy it should be a normal part of the life of a patient thank you